When it comes to winter tree ID, many people think it's impossible because there's no leaves on the trees. However, if you know a few key features about some of the most popular trees in Ohio, it's not that bad. One of the first steps when you're trying to identify trees in the winter is to look at the branching pattern. And you can see on this buckeye tree that the branches come off opposite from one another. And there's actually only four trees that do that. Maple, ash, dogwood, and buckeye. You can remember that by using the word mad buck. So maple, ash, dogwood, and buckeye. The majority of the other tree species have an alternate branching pattern. So you can see where the buds on this little beech tree come off at different places along the branch. Another feature that will help you with winter tree ID is looking at the buds. This little bitternut hickory has bright yellow buds. This is really important when you're trying to decide different types of species within a group. So not all hickory buds look exactly like this, even though the bark looks very similar. Another really good way to identify trees is by looking at the bark. The bark can be very smooth, like on this American beech tree, and sometimes they, you know, there are some imperfections, but generally speaking, they're very, very smooth. Then they can go all the way to having some deep furrows, like this tulip poplar. And if you see this, sometimes they can be very deep, sometimes it can be smooth. One of the easiest trees to learn when you're first beginning is actually black cherry, because the bark almost looks like burnt potato chips. And even though most trees don't have their leaves, there are a few exceptions to the rule. Things like this American beech or some of varieties of red oak will actually hang on to their leaves throughout most of the winter. Another easy tree to identify in the winter is the sycamore. As you look from the bottom up to the top, the bark starts to peel off and almost look like camouflage. As you get up to the top of the tree, it almost has a white appearance to the bark and it's very smooth. For help on identifying specific trees, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources has naturalists, foresters, and other folks who can definitely help you along the way. And for more information, there's always really good guidebooks, and our website at ohiodnr.gov forestry has a lot of great resources.